गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन टूडे वी विल डिस्कस साइंस वर्ड्स दैट आर गिवन एट द एंड ऑफ द चैप्टर टूडे वी विल डिस्कस चैप्टर वन साइंस वर्ड्स दिस चैप्टर चैप्टर वन साइंस वर्ड्स क्लास फोर्थ डेट ट्वेंटी एट अप्रैल टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट वर्ड इज हेबिटेड habitat a place where animals lives is called its habitat in another words we can say the natural place where an animal lives and grow naturally is called its habitat the natural place where animal where an animal lives and grow naturally is called its habitat clear the definition the natural place where an animal lives and grow naturally is called its habitat i am living here so it's my habitat the place their plants and animals lives is called its habitat habitat is clear second is terrestrial plants terrestrial plants the plants that grow on land are called the terrestrial plants the plants that grow on land are called terrestrial plants A, the terrestrial plant that grow on plains on mountains on hills wherever is land is available they are known as the terrestrial plants for example neem people babool these are the example of terrestrial plants there is problem any i think there is no problem in this definition the plant that grow on land are called the terrestrial plants example neem jamu babool people next is aquatic animals aquatic plants aquatic plants simple definition the plant that grow in water are called aquatic plants the plants that grow
in water are called aquatic plant. Plants that grow in the water, they are known as the aquatic plants. Example, lotus, water lily, water hyacinth, pond weed. These are the example of aquatic plants. Next is photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. The green plants prepare their food with the help of carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll this process is called the photosynthesis here i am writing green plants Prepare their food with the help of carbon dioxide. and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. This process is called photosynthesis. Clear it? Photo means light or synthesis means putting together. These things putting together to prepare their food that is called the photosynthesis. Green plants prepare their food with the help of carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. This process is called the photosynthesis. During the photosynthesis there are the four raw materials is needed. These raw materials are carbon dioxide, water, chlorophyll and sunlight. Carbon dioxide Plants absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Water, they absorb water from the soil. Next, sunlight, they trap the sunlight from the sun. And fourth is chlorophyll. It is the green pigment present inside the leaves. In this process, oxygen is released. This oxygen is used for breathing for living, living beings. This is clear, very simple definition, green plants prepare their food with the help of carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. This process is called the photosynthesis. Should I love? Now habitat is clear, the natural place where an animal lives and grow naturally is called its habitat. Second is terrestrial plants. The plants that grow on land are called the terrestrial plants. Aquatic plants, the plants that grow in water are called the aquatic plants. Can you tell me uh, some example of the aquatic plants? These are the water lily, lotus, duckweed, pondweed, water hyacinth. These are the example of aquatic plants. And now photosynthesis. Green plants prepare their food with the help of carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll in this process 
oxygen is released this oxygen is used for respiration for for the living organisms